And now we go from the United States to the Grand Duchy. For Luxembourg, we have a message from Prime Minister Xavier Bettel. Dear colleagues, I miss you, but uh, even if I'm not live there, I'm happy to join you for this pledging conference. We all know the COVID-19 pandemic is a global challenge that requires unity, cooperation, and solidarity. As the pandemic still spreads across the world, causing much pain and upheaval, it is so important for us to come together to fight this common enemy. I therefore warmly welcome all the global efforts undertaken so far, and you can count on Luxembourg's support to this global response. We'll contribute 5 million euro to the Central Emergency Response Fund, 3.5 million euro to the Global Humanitarian Response Plan, as well as 2 million euro to the International Committee of the Red Cross Appeal. We'll continue to provide support to the health systems of our partner countries, in particular in Africa and the Sahel region we'll focus on the most vulnerable, which is essential for the delivery of vaccines and treatment. In addition, my country has also provided flexible co-funding to a wide range of multilateral partners, including the WHO. Overall, our COVID-19 efforts in terms of development cooperation and humanitarian aid will amount to 17 million euro of fresh funds and 40 million euro reorientation of existing commitments. But we have to do more, and my country is willing to do more. Therefore, I'm pleased to announce that both in the area of diagnostics and therapeutics, Luxembourg has been very active in the framework of several international initiatives for the evaluation of experimental treatments for the COVID-19. We are currently rolling out a large scale testing program at the level of the general population. On this, we stand ready to cooperate at an international level and share our data. On vaccines, we will contribute an additional 800,000 euros to the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations. We will also substantially increase our contributions to Gavi, the vaccine alliance for the immunizations of millions of children in the world's poorest country. In the coming weeks, we will examine how we can make additional contributions. In conclusion, I know that together, through spirit of solidarity, we will manage to overcome this unprecedented challenge. Merci, Xavier. Merci, au Luxembourg.